it's Danny, and today's video is going to be a prom slash party makeup and hair tutorial because I know it's prom season coming up and a lot of you will also have parties and birthdays and things coming up which you would want a nice evening makeup look for. I never normally do hair as well as makeup but I thought I'd make a nice change and I had a really nice hairstyle in my head so hopefully I recreated it well enough and you do like this entire look. As always, do like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more videos from me and all of the products I use in this video will be listed in the down bar as usual. So I'll just get into the video now, so thanks for watching guys. Bye! Okay, so as I said, I am going to try and use as many drugstore products as possible, but I couldn't find drugstore products for every single part of my makeup look. So the first product is actually a high-end product, which I'm sorry about, but obviously if you have a more affordable alternative, then just use that. As I said, to start off with, I'm going to be using the Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel primer. This is just a mini sample, and I'm still working my way through it, so you could do the same and go to a Chanel counter and ask for a sample. So I'm just, just going to apply this all over it's just a really lovely primer to keep your makeup in place and give you a little bit of radiance but also smooth everything out at the same time. So it's a good all-rounder really. Next moving on to foundation and this is again a high-end product but I do really recommend it and I did pick this up for my prom last year and it did make my skin look really lovely and flawless in all of my photographs so if you're going to pick up one high-end product for your prom then I would recommend this one and it is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I have this in the shade 6.5. I did match myself online with the Temptalia Foundation Matrix but if you can I would recommend getting colour matched at counter because obviously it is quite expensive so you don't want to get the wrong colour. So I just shake it up and pump it onto my fingers and dot it all over my face. I tend to use a pump and a half to start off with and then if I need more I can go back in. So I'm just going to blend that in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. I find that this brush works best. I do like the Expert Face brush but I think this is the best brush to use if you want a really flawless finish because you can really spend a lot more time buffing it in. So this is with just one and a half pumps, so one even application all over and I think this looks pretty good for day to day wear but as it is going to be for your prom I would suggest applying a little bit more so I'm just taking another half a pump and applying it again. Next for concealer and I'm first going to be using a corrector just to correct any redness before I move on to my concealer so I can use less of my concealer and so I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown corrector and I have the shade Peach in this, it's just a really good corrector to use to cancel out any blueness or any redness or any purple tones or anything like that. If you're looking for a drugstore alternative, the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer is a really great one to go for. So I'm just applying this under my eyes where I get dark circles and also a little bit around my nose just to correct any redness there. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline the Eraser Eye Concealer and I really like this because it really brightens up your under eyes but you can use it around your face as well and it just gives a really natural finish. So I'm just going to take a bit of this and apply it underneath my eyes, around my nose and around my mouth and just on any areas where I think I need a little bit more coverage. <laughs> So that's the base all done and now I'm just going to set it in place with a powder and I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder and this is just a really nice one to use to set everything in place and matte it down slightly but still leave you with a really gorgeous healthy natural glow. So first I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques setting brush and taking the powder and setting my concealer and then I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques blush brush and setting the rest of my face. Moving on to cheeks and I'm first going to be starting off with a bit of bronzer so I'm going to be taking my Topshop bronzer in the shade Mohawk I'm not sure if these are still available as I haven't seen them on the website but I have seen them in Topshop stores so I'd say check your local store to see if they still have it so I'm just taking this on my Real Techniques blush brush again and applying it to the outer perimeters of my face just to warm things up slightly and then I'm also going to be taking it on this number 7 blush brush and using it to contour my cheekbones. 
So to contour, just suck in your cheeks and create a line there and then just blend it out so it looks a lot more natural and always blend up rather than down because blending it down will drag your cheeks down and make them look really droopy and yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to be bringing it slightly onto the temples just to contour there a bit more. And a little dusting on the end of my nose. I'm going to do my brows next but because brows are quite personal and especially for prom you want to do them how you think suits you best not how I like to do them I'm just going to skip past this Okay bit. so I've done my brows and now I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow so I've zoomed you in so you can see what I'm doing a bit better So I'm just going to start off by taking the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze and applying that all over the lid So I'm going to start off by applying the MAC eyeshadow in Woodwinked which is this one right here and applying it all over the lid. So now that that's done I'm going to be taking the shade Naked which is this shade right here from the Urban's K Naked palette and applying that in the crease with the same brush. This is a H&M eyeshadow brush by the way. I'm just tapping that off a bit so there's not going to be any fallout. Okay so now that that shadow's done I'm going to be taking the shade Smog which is nearly empty and I'm going to be taking that on, what is this brush? I'm not sure, this is a smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be taking that and putting that in the outer corner. So now that all of them eyeshadows are applied, I'm going to be taking the MAC 217 brush just to blend them all out. And then to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner, I'm going to be taking the shade Virgin from the Urban's K Naked Palette and again taking that on a MAC 217 brush. This also helps to just blend out the eyeshadows a little bit. And then finally I'm going to take a little bit of my Topshop bronzer again and just apply that with a MAC 239 brush, which is just this flat brush, undo, under the lower lash line. Okay, so now that's the eyeshadow all done, I'm just going to take my foundation brush again, just to clean up slightly. And then before I apply mascara, I'm just going to take the Topshop Magic Liner and do a thin line on my top lash line. Not really a flick or anything, just a line, just to thicken up the lash line. Okay, so then moving on to mascara, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara and coat my top lashes quite heavily because I'm not going to be using false eyelashes, but if you were going to be using false eyelashes, then just do one light coat. And then I'm also going to take a little bit on my lower lashes. Okay, so looking at it in daylight, I just want to make the eyes a little bit more smoky now that I've done the eyeliner and the mascara. So I'm just taking the MAC eyeshadow in Brun, which I use for my eyebrows on the same H&M eyeshadow brush I used, and putting that in the crease a little bit. And then I'm just going to blend out again with the MAC 217 brush. 
Okay, so now onto the cheeks, and I'm going to be using the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush, and this is the shade Soft Pink, and this is just a really lovely, natural-looking flush of pink, but it's really brightening, so it makes you look really healthy and awake, which is always great when you're wanting a prom makeup look. So I'm just taking this on a Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques, and apply it not to really the apples, but just behind that. As you can see it's really brightening and it does really help to lift the face so I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And then just to set that in place a little bit and to make sure that the colour is going to last all evening I'm going to be taking the NYX blush and this is in the shade Pinched. Now I use the cream blush underneath this because obviously NYX isn't available everywhere so just in case you can't get hold of this blush then you can just use the Max Factor one on its own or if you just want a powder blush then you could just use Pinched. So that's the blush done and I'm just going to apply a little bit of highlight to give my skin a really nice healthy glow and it does make your skin look a lot nicer in photographs. So I'm going to be taking the Topshop Glow Pot in Polish and this is just a really gorgeous champagne colour. It's not too cool or too warm so it would work on a lot of skin tones. And I'm just taking that on my finger and dabbing it on. It has a really lovely iridescence to it, which looks really natural, but still gives you a really lovely sheen. And I'm just going to also take a little bit down my nose and on my Cupid's bow. Okay, so I'm being really indecisive about the eyes, but I've decided to apply some of the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Cold Kajal in the shade Bronze to my lower waterline, just to give them a little bit more definition. Okay, so I'm happy with the eyes now, I do think they look finished, so I'm going to move on to the lips. So I'm going to start off by applying a bit of the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. Now you don't have to do this, but I feel like it just keeps my lipstick on a lot longer and helps it to look a lot nicer and a lot more smooth. And then today I'm going to be lining my lips just to make sure they really stand out and look like a really strong shape. So I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner, I believe it's called, in the shade Tiramisu. And this is just a really gorgeous peachy nude shade. And I'm also filling them in just so my lipstick stays on a lot longer. So you could just have this as your lip colour and apply a gloss on top, but just so that you can see a few options, I'm also going to be applying a lipstick and then a gloss. So the lipstick I'm going to be using is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in the shade Notting Hill Nude. And this is just a really gorgeous peachy nude shade again. So that's it with the lipstick on top and then just to finish it off and give my lips a really lovely sheen I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Maybelline Colour Sensational Shine Gloss and this is in the shade Cashmere Rose and this is just a really gorgeous peachy nudie colour. And I'm only applying this to the centre of my lips. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I just went for really gorgeous perfect skin with bronzed glowing healthy looking cheeks and a bronze smoky eye and a nude peach lip. So now I'm going to be doing a quick hair look. This is just going to be a simple curled look for my sort of mid-length hair just so that you can see something really simple for prom. So first off I'm just going to spray some heat protectant on my hair. I just use a Tresemme one and I'm just going to brush that through and then I'm just going to section my hair off. Probably into four would be the best bet. So I'm just doing the underneath layer first and I'm just going to be curling it with the, what's this called, Babylist Wave MV? Wave? It's, it's their big curling wand for waves. So I'm just going to put on this fancy looking glove and then take the wand and curl my hair in sections. Now, I'm not amazing at curling my hair, so I don't really think you have to be all that great at doing hairstyles to use this wand. I'm not going to leave them on for too long because I don't want the curls to be too tight. I just want them to give really gorgeous, effortless waves.
Okay, so I'm just going to take another section and go down it section by section. And then for the final section I'm parting my hair in the middle but obviously if you have a side parting then part it to the side and do your curls like that. And then in case you didn't see with the very front bit, because I think it cut out on the last bit, I like to curl it around backwards, just so the curl sits nicely back. Okay, so this is all of the curling done, and then I just like to run my hands through it a bit, just to mess it up slightly. I don't want to brush the curls out completely though. So as for styling products, I like to take my Obey Dry Texturizing Spray and just spray it all through because this just really makes the curls look a lot more roughed up and keeps them in place, like a hairspray. And then if you want a little bit more shine back in your hair, I like to take the Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine and run this through the ends. And you don't need too much of this at all, I would just say a pea sized amount like this. Massage it through my fingers and then just scrunch it through the ends. And then to finish off the look, I'm just going to be pinning a couple of the front bits back just to give it a little bit more shape. And I'm just using some brown Bobby pins for this. And I'm not really doing this in any particular place at all. I'm just randomly pinning it where I think looks good. <laughs> and use as many pins as you need just to keep it in place. I tend to use two going up and one going okay, down. Okay, so this is the final finished look with the makeup and the hair all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I never usually do full on tutorials with hair and makeup, so let me know what you thought and if you do like this hairstyle. Hopefully this video has helped you come up with a look for your prom. I do think this look is very universal and would suit all hair lengths and all skin tones and all everyone really it would look great on everyone so as always all products i used and all the tools i used will be listed in the down bar along with all of my links as usual do let me know in the comment section if you're going to be recreating a look like this for your prom and if you do please 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 tag me in pictures on instagram or twitter my instagram is at xodjo and my twitter is at xodjo thank you so much for watching i had so much fun filming this video and i will be sure to do more tutorials like this in the future if you guys enjoy as always, subscribe to more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm gonna go to prom now. Just gotta sit at home and eat food all afternoon. Yay!